right choices in this frame of mind are the ones you know you should be doing to make progress towards your intention, your vision. Not who you were before, who you want to be in the future. And usually speaking, when we experience large degrees of stress and anxiety because of external circumstances, we tend to look to the past for previous solutions because it's much harder to project yourself into the future and be able to plan effectively because you're uncertain of what the future beholds, but you have certainty in the past and the past is not usually perceived as positive. Usually when we look at our pasts, we focus on the negative. We focus on the mistakes. We focus on the ambivalent emotions that help fill the gap that those lapses of feelings left. And today, I think that coming back to why choices matter and believing again in choices was really important because this is not the time to survive. This is the time to thrive. We have so much more free time in our daily routines right now as opposed to before this outbreak happened. And I'm not saying it's, it's, not, it's not the best scenario. I'd rather be working. I'd rather have not had to go through panic. However, it's not about surviving. It's about thriving. And we can, thr we can thrive in this environment if we so choose to make sure that our choices matter and how we apply them and how we continue to grow in thought. You know, I think that there's so many online courses. Even if you're not going to school, Skillshare is a website that has many online courses on it. And there's just so much information to get into on that website. It's really cool, really cool. 